if negative 2, negative 4 is the midpoint of 6, negative 7, and x, y, then the values of x and y are? If negative 2, negative 4 is the midpoint of 6, negative 7, and x, y, then the values of x and y are? So, binigyan po tayo ng midpoint ng ating linya or line segment. So, sabihin ko na lang M yun. Yun ay negative 2, negative 4. And then, yung point 1 natin is 6, negative 7. At yung point 2 natin ay unknown, which is x, y. Kapag midpoint po yung tinatanong, under pa din to ng division of line segment, bisected naman po. Wherein R is equal to 1 half. Pero meron na pong formula na, da, na direct that is xm that is just the average of x1 and x2 while ym is y1 plus y2 all over 2 okay so this is xm this is ym okay so that is negative 2 equals x1 which is 6 plus x2 that is x kasi unknown all over 2 so, that's 2 times negative 2. That is negative 4. Transpose ko naman si 6. X is equal to negative 10. And then, si YM, that is equal to negative 4. Y1 is equal to negative 7 plus Y2 all over 2. So, that is negative 8. Transpose negative 8 plus 7. That is uh, negative 1. Okay? So, the coordinates of the second point is equal to negative 10 and negative 1. So, ganyan lang po kapag midpoint. Ito po yung formula. Okay. Next. Line AB has coordinates 5, 2. Coordinates A, 5, 2 and B, negative 6, 4. If the line AB is extended through B to a certain point C such that BC is 5 times the length of AB, find point C. Line AB is coordinates A, 5, 2, and B, negative 6, 4. If the line AB is extended through B to a certain point C such that BC is 5 times the length of AB, Find point C. So, let us first illustrate the problem. So, meron kang point A with coordinates 5, 2. At meron kang point B with coordinates negative 6, 4. So, this is point A, 5, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is point B with coordinates negative 6, 4. So, yung line segment daw niya ay in-extend natin through B. Ibig sabihin sa B papunta doon pa hanggang maabot yung point C such that BC is 5 times its original length. So, kung BC is 5 units, ilan yung haba ng AB? 1 unit lang po. Okay? Tapos, gano'ng kahaba mula A to C? Mula A to C ay 6 units. Okay? Kasi yung naging extension natin ay 5 times ng original. Okay? Hindi lang ganun ka-precise yung drawing ko, pero yun yung sinasabi sa problem. Okay? So, para mahanap yung C, so, meron tayong formula, X O, Y O, that is X1 plus R, X2 minus X1. This is Y1 plus R, Y2 minus Y1. Tama? And then, R is equal to Pipo, Pipito. Setting A as P1, and then B is P2, and C is PO. So, P1 to P2, gano'ng kahaba? Diba AB yun? That is just, ah uh, sorry, P1 to PO, P4. Diba? That is 6 units. 
And then PP2, so P1 to P2, that is just one unit. So, kita mo, yung R is I greater than 1. It only means na nagkaroon nga tayo na extension. Okay, tama ba? So, ang gagawin ko, calcutech na lang ulit. So, si A, mode complex lang tayo, that is 5 plus 2i, while si B, ay negative 6 plus 4i. Okay? So, para makuha, makuha yung coordinates ni C, that is just simply A plus 6 times B minus A. At kapag ginawa ko yun, That is equal to negative 61 plus 14i or simply negative 61 and 14. Okay? So, ang coordinates nito ay negative 61, 14. So, ganyan lang po ang pag-analyze kapag meron ka namang extension. So, please copy. Let's have a more complicated problem for division of line segments. A triangle has vertices 6, negative 4, B, 4, 7, and C, negative 3, 2. Find the equations of the line passing through the vertex B and trisecting the opposite sides. A triangle has vertices at A, 6, negative 4, B, 4, 7, and C, negative 3, 2. Find the equations of the line passing through vertex B and trisecting the opposite sides. So, the first thing to do is to illustrate or to draw what is being said in the problem. So, i-plot muna natin yung points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... So, this is vertex A with coordinate 6, negative 4. And then, 4, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is vertex B with coordinates 4, 7. And then, for vertex C, that's negative 3, 2. So, ito na yung tatlong vertex ng ating triangle. Okay? Meron daw linya na dumadaan dito sa point B at tinatrisect yung ating segment CA. So, parang ganito lang yun. Okay? So, may dalawa tayong linya. Tama po ba? Itong line na ito tsaka itong line na ito. So, you have here line 1 and you have here line 2. Okay? Madali sana to kung alam agad natin kung saan dumaan si line 1 dito sa segment CA at saan dumaan si line 2 dito sa segment CA. Sabihin kong this is point E and this is point F. Okay? Tutuwid ko lang yung sulat to. This is point E and this is point F. So, we need to find the value or the coordinates of E and F and then just utilize the different equations of line para makuha ang equation ni line 1 tsaka ni line 2. As you can see, sinabi na trinisect daw ito. So, meron tayong division of line segment. Tama po ba? Okay? So, kung isiset ko si C na point 1 at isiset ko si A na point 2, pwede ako magkaroon ng pipo, pipito. Tama? 1 third, 1 third, 1 third. Okay? So, si E is one-third from P1, while si F is two-thirds from P1 kasi sabi, trisected. So, kuhain muna natin ang equations ni, or ang coordinates ni point E. So, for E, so, P1 is negative 3, 2, and point 2 is 6, negative 4. 
and then R is equal to 1 third. Okay? So, kapag ginawa ko yun, X O is equal to negative 3 plus 1 third times 6 minus negative 3 while Y O is equal to 2 plus 1 third negative 4 minus 2. So, let us see what will be the coordinates of x, o, and y, o. So, you could use the calculator technique if you wanted to. It's up to you. So, for uh, coordinates of x, o, is the value of x, o is 0. And the value of y o is 0. So, 0, 0. So, nasa origin pala. So, medyo tama yung drawing natin. Next, since meron na tayong point E, as you can see, dumadaan yung linya kay point B to point E. So, pwede ko nating makuha ang equation ni line 1. Tama po ba? So, using the two-point slope form. So, that is y minus y1 equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 x minus x1 diba itong y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 ay slope lang natin so parang diniretsyo na lang natin ok so kayo nang bahala kung alin ang gusto nyo gamitin why uh, gamitin yung p1 tsaka p2 ako ang diskarte ko dun ako sa madaling magzizero so, that is y minus 0 equals y2 which is 7, y1 which is 0, x2 which is 4, minus 0, x minus x1 which is 0. So, that is y minus 0 or y na lang equals 7 fourths times x. Okay? Multiply ko dun si 4. So, 4y is equal to 7x. And then, ayusin ko lang, 7x minus 4y equals 0. So, this is the equation of your line 1. Para pa lang yun kay line 1. Para kay line 2, kailangan ko namang makuha ang coordinates ni point F. Okay? So, for point F, ito pa din ang aking P1, P2. Ang may iba lang ay ang R. Bakit? Kasi si F is 2 thirds na ang layo mula kay point C. Okay? So, for F, R is equal to 2 thirds. Okay? Same pa din yung formula. Ang magiging R ko nga lang ay 2 thirds. So, X O, Y O. So, that is equal to negative 3 plus 2 thirds. 6 minus negative 3. And then, 2 plus 2 thirds. Negative 4 minus 2. So, kapag ginawa natin yan, meron tayong 3, tsaka negative 2. So, ang coordinates ni F ay 3, negative 2. Okay? So, para makuha ang equation ni line 2, that is y minus y1 equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 x minus x1 okay so y minus y1 ito na lang yung gagamitin mo point 1 so y minus negative 2 equals point b which is 7 minus negative 2 all over x2 minus x1 so that is 4 minus 3 x minus 3 so, that is y plus 2 9x minus 3. Okay? So, y plus 2 equals 9x minus 27. So, pag nirearrange ko yan, 9x minus... So, this is the equation of line 1 and this is the equation of line 2. So, as you can see, in-apply natin yung division of line segment tsaka yung mga different equations ng ating line. Pati in-utilize natin yung slope. So, in these problems, 
you will just use the principles in order to solve this. Hindi po mahirap. Uh, mahihirapan ka lang ay siguro sa pag-figure out. So, ang um, tip ko para mapadali yung ganun, para mapabilis ka sa pag-solve, ay mag-practice po ng mag-practice. Okay? So, please copy.